Joining us right now is Lena Perea. Lena? Did I say that right? Lena. Lana? Lena? Lana. Lena. Lana. <laughs> Lena. We're going back and forth. Uh, uh, you said it earlier that way too. Lena Perella is with us right now. <laughs> Uh, Lana Perea plays the evil queen on Once Upon a Time. Here she is uh, uh, with her co-star, uh, Colin O'Donoghue, who plays Captain Hook. I know why you came here from Neverland. And I know all about the crocodile you wish to skin. Then you also know that I'll stop at nothing. She can't help you kill Rumpelstiltskin Hook. But I can, if you do something for me. Care to join me for a drink? Oh, yes. What do you want to drink? Care to join me for yes. a drink? <laughs> care, to, care to join me over here? That's got to be a really fun role to play, huh? It is. Yeah. It's, it's a ton of fun. Hi, Hi. Lana. Sorry. That's okay. I'm How are you? I'm loving the leopard. Good. Have you, Good. Have you? Have you met Mariah? <laughs> okay, okay. Here, have man. a seat. What nice else to meet you, Mariah. <laughs> How's it going? It's good. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Happy to be in LA, even though it's raining. I know. Have you done a lot of voiceovers? Uh, you've been asked so many times, and no, I have not. You've I got have such not. a distinctive voice. Thank you. It's quite bassy. Oh, what a I great like that, voice, though. though. Now, are you out here? Where do you Where do you live? I I live both in Vancouver and Los Angeles. I come here quite a bit, but I no longer have a place here. But I have great friends, so, so when I come home, primarily I, in Vancouver I, then? Yes. for for the show. Yes, okay. primarily there. So you shoot in Vancouver because it takes place in Maine. <laughs> Isn't it cheaper? Do I have this right? Yeah, that always <laughs> happens. It's, it's TV. Because it's cheaper, right? Um, it's actually quite beautiful, and it's mm -hmm. really because of the enchanted forest. Mm -hmm. And Vancouver is gorgeous. Uh, it's queen just queen absolutely stunning. Curse. So that's why we shoot there. Your mm. if it is uh, but you're from Brooklyn. I don't hear Brooklyn at all. Do you need to hear Brooklyn? I need to hear you Brooklyn. You need a little Brooklyn you need a little this morning? No, She'll go from, Brooklyn on you. Oh, you're from yeah. the Bronx. Yeah, so yeah. then I'm actually, I'm from Brooklyn. Um, Carroll Gardens area, oh, Borm Hill. Yeah, beautiful there. Yeah, mm. which is. Probably um, so different now, too. It's very it's different. It's just evolving. Yeah, it's very different. Now it's it's quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. Ten years ago, you were dodging bullets. It's a total hot spot mm -hmm. now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in terms of being uh, an actor, w was there a pivotal moment in your life, or you were just a little girl who always wanted to do that? Uh, both. Both. Um, ever since I was probably five years old, it was something I wanted to do. But I didn't start pursuing it uh, professionally until I was in my early 20s. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why so long? I think I was advised by my aunt who said, learn your craft. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I took very seriously. So I waited and I didn't mm -hmm. pursue it until I felt I was ready. You were studying it, though. Yeah, I was studying and, and I still am studying. I feel like you're always learning. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was in class Tuesday night and I, I loved no it. There's no perfection, <laughs> right? There's no perfection. You're yeah, not, there you're, isn't. You never get You can there. never yeah. stop learning. Well, yeah. and you're always growing and so therefore your characters are always growing. So, mm -hmm. so, so on this show, uh, it, it, for people who don't watch the show, it's a little confusing to explain. Even if you do watch the yeah. show, it's starting to get a little okay, confusing. Okay, fair enough. Yes, yeah. it's, it's uh, set, set us straight. With the basic storyline. Um, well, it's a show about all these fairy tale characters that we've grown up uh, reading in, in books and, and watching uh, Disney films. The usual suspects um, that we <laughs> know of. Yes, um, and um, in, in fairy tale land, the evil queen—I play the evil queen—casts mm -hmm. a spell on everyone and sends the characters to this fictional town called Storybrook, Maine. Yes. Uh, where time has stopped and their memories have been erased and they don't they don't know who they are they've lost their identity so it's it's about well at the end of the first season the curse is lifted and in the second season everyone knows who they are and it's quite complicated and but it's a ton of fun and it's cool and we've talked to a lot of uh, your cast mates uh, from this show and they love that they get to play kind of two characters it doesn't always happen on a show where you get blessed with two different characters. And sometimes it's like I feel like I'm playing three or four characters because I play the young version of my character and she's about 18 years old and then I Don't play. You love that? It's great. It's great. It's so refreshing. Yeah. Do you pitch your voice higher when you play? I do. Yeah, and, yeah. and I jump a lot. Uh -huh. I jump yeah, to get does, that light feeling. Right <laughs> it's natural. And, and um, 
Every actor said to me they, they're happier playing somebody who does wrong rather than does right. Evil. They, yeah. This is the first time in my career I'm ever play, I've played a, a villain, and I love it. I love it. It's a ton of fun. It's probably a good release. It is, because you can't really be like that in life. And if, I mean, if you are, you, there's you a chance a of getting friends. in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So. And, and do you follow the old dictum that you play the evil person, the evil person doesn't know she's evil? Yes. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. She thinks everybody else is. Yes. God, misunderstands her. Right. And that's exactly what she is, and she's yeah. completely misunderstood. So okay. when you're on set, do you snap into evil mode? You know, at craft service, you're like... <laughs> I think we all have our moments, for sure, mm -hmm. especially if you haven't had coffee that morning. Well, it's got to be hard to go back and forth, you know? You're the evil yeah, queen, it, or the evil queen. Uh, it, it, it is. I mean, there are, you know, luckily, in the second season, my character in Storybrooke is on the road to redemption, so she's much more vulnerable and sensitive and raw, and, and I really like that. And then the contra to contrast that with the evil queen in fairy tale land. What a great voice. It's a voice. lot of fun. What a, I know. I feel like when I'm talking to you, thank you so much for being with us. That's how I feel <laughs> next to you. Uh, once she must upon have been a time, perfect when she walked in for casting. Sunday night at 8 o'clock on ABC.